13 years ago, when I was 20 years old, I started running my first gym. It was in an area of a town where you didn't see a lot of people who were my complexion. Uh, but I remember that maybe after about two or three weeks uh, that I started running the gym, that I was promoted to take over the gym, there was an older blonde haired woman who walked up to my door. My back was facing the door as I was sitting at my desk and she said, excuse me, are you the new manager? And I said, yes, ma'am. Uh, now I was 20 years old at the time. I probably looked like I was about 16, 17. And she said, I don't know what you have done or what has happened around here, but I've been a member here for uh, about seven years. And she said, um, I've never felt it feel like this way. Uh, I've never experience this type of feel in here. She said, it's completely different. There's a new energy that is in this place. Now, in my mind, I'm saying that that's the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, and I was able to use some tools and I developed some tools there that would bring about growth, that would bring about new leadership and new leadership traits even rising in the people of uh, that, that were already working there as far as the employees of my staff. And after I ran that gym for some years, I went over and I took over another gym. In the same model that I developed at the first gym, I took to the second gym. After I left that gym, I became a district manager for a retail company and I used the same model. And of course I had to tweak it a little bit, but all throughout this process, I was leading up to uh, doing kingdom work. Uh, and then after I was an assistant district manager and a district manager for a retail company, I took the same model and I took it to another gym, which was a larger gym, applied the same principles and the same model. Now, the model was built from biblical principles. And of course, being in the secular arena, I wasn't walking around saying, well, Romans chapter 8 and 1 Corinthians chapter 2 says this and that. But I, there was an indwelling Holy Spirit that was inside of me that even determined how I operated in business. So then in the midst of running uh, the, the last gym that I ran, I planted my first church. And I took the same model that God gave me 13 years ago. Uh, and I tweaked it, of course. And um, some areas were refined and God worked on some things, developed more things, uh, took some things out as far as what works in business, what works for church, what doesn't work uh, in church, and uh, develop, developed it more and more. And then when I finally left my role as senior pastor, uh, God once again reminded me of even the work that I was doing during my final few years as senior pastor and I was, how I was helping other churches. And he reminded me of the fact that this is not a model that was developed via divine osmosis, but this is a model that has been around for over a decade. And if the same model that was based off of biblical principles worked in the secular arena, and it worked when I was doing ministry and, and building a church and churches in the Northeast, surely it can work for other churches. Surely it can work for other pastors and, and just like you tweaked it and worked it throughout uh, the, the 13 years uh, that you had been uh, operating from this model, you can tweak it and work it to, to fit with different church cultures and for, for different leadership styles. So I'm grateful to be able to be doing this and of course to be doing it with an amazing team to bring it to people. Um, and people always ask, well, how long have you been doing this? And uh, for 13 years, for 13 years. And it's a model that has worked. And um, uh, just to uh, make sure and remind ourselves always, and this is what we do, we remind ourselves always that just like Jesus said, it's the Father in me, he's doing the work. So with what we're doing now to help other churches, we understand that it's God who's doing the work and it's God who has also given us the skills. So uh, we are so careful to use our skills to help others to help advance the kingdom of God so that we can manage and publish the glory in the most effective way that would bring about growth, maturity, and um, a spirit-led environment uh, that will change lives um, for eternity. So that is, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be doing this.